friend. I'm Darsh, welcome to our HMTF film channel to watch our recaps on horror, mystery and suspense thriller movies. Please subscribe HMT film to watch more such videos and send your likes and comment. Envision our remote advances made in association with a world past our own. Envision that world involved that innovation as an entryway into our own. Presently, envision the association we made can't be closed down. Whenever you turn on your PDA or sign on to your email, they'll get in, you'll be contaminated and they'll have the option to take from you what they don't have any longer, dash life. Whenever Josh Ockman enters a dull college library planning to meet his companion Douglas Ziegler, he is gone after by a humanoid soul that drains the existence force out of him. Occasionally later, Yosh's better half, Matty Weber, visits his loft, seeing proof that it has not been very much kept. Josh advises Matty to stand by in the kitchen while he strolls off. While holding up she observes Yosh's pet feline, secured in a storeroom and biting the dust from extreme hunger. However, when she races to tell him, she observes that he has ended it all by draping himself with a web link. Matty and her companions start to get online messages from Josh requesting help, however expect that Josh's PC is still on and that an infection is making the messages. Matty discovers that Josh's PC has been offered to Dex. Matty discovers that Yosh's PC has been offered to Dex McCarthy, who tracks down various sod recordings on the PC. Matty gets a bundle that Josh sent two days before his passing. Inside are rolls of formality and a message telling her that the tape keeps them out, despite the fact that he doesn't have the foggiest idea why. Afterward, Dex visits Matty and shows her video messages that Josh was shipping off Ziegler. 
Josh had hacked Ziegler's PC framework and afterward dispersed an infection. This infection had opened a gateway that associated the domain of the living to the domain of the dead. Josh accepted that he had coded a counter to the infection and needed to meet Ziegler at the library. Josh's counter program is found on a memory stick taped inside the PC case with formality. While checking his PC, they see numerous infection showing up on screen and afterward an infection page telling them would you like to see a phantom. When they enter that page, they and the room they are in appear to think about that page as though it were a mirror. Matty will get unnerved in light of the fact that there are a few net animals, they are a sort of greenish dark cyber figures, called apparitions, and there are a significant number of them, individuals get impacted when they watch the weird website page, and after a short time, individuals end it all or become a pile of residue. Matty understands that there are fewer and fewer understudies on the grounds, those rare sorts of people who actually go to college are quiet and mind their own business. No one needs to discuss what's going on. She extraordinarily misses her companion Isabel Fuentes, who is gone after by a few of them leaving a clothing machine. At that point is when Matty starts to truly accept that there is a danger. Matty understands that Douglas had purchased a PC second-hand. Dexter was the first proprietor. From the get-go, he would rather not have a say in Matty's concern, however at that point he understands that something terrific is going on. Together, they devise an arrangement to utilize an infection created by Josh, Jonathan Exhaust, put it in the organization to closure the framework and save human cutting-edge lifestyle. Josh has detained himself inside his loft, in closing everything by formality, the main thing which appears to keep the creatures from entering places. However at that point he understands that something terrific is going on. Together, they devise an arrangement to utilize an infection created by Josh, Jonathan Exhaust, put it in the organization to closure the framework and save human cutting-edge lifestyle. Josh has detained himself inside his loft, in closing everything by formality, the main thing which appears to keep the creatures from entering places. He's mad, however at last tells Matty and Dexter that Douglas and him were dealing with an undertaking to make the most stretched out conceivable net association. Matty and Dexter got what they were searching for, the infection Josh and Douglas had concocted. They need to involve it in the focal point of the framework, in a modem situated in the storm cellar of Douglas structure. They are compromised by many different looking digital animals on their way there. Matty is gotten by one of them, who takes her desire to battle and live. She seems encompassed by a huge number of demands. Dexter hauls her out, telling her not to investigate directly. Matty will awaken safe, yet she says that the digital animal don't have a place with the framework. They are the framework. They at last track down the principal server, and they empty the infection into it. X and Matty track down the server and transfer Yoshi's fix, making the framework crash and the spirits to evaporate. Minutes after the fact, in any case, the framework reboots and the spirits return, leaving Matty and Dex with no choice except for to escape the city via vehicle. Over the vehicle radio, Matty and Dex hear a report from the military declaring the area of a few safe zones where there are no web associations, mobile phones, or TVs. 
As Dex and Matty drive to a protected zone, the film closes with a voiceover from Matty saying we can never return. The urban areas are theirs. Our lives are different at this point. What was intended to interface us to each other rather associated us to powers that we might have never envisioned. The world we knew is gone, however the want to live ever kicks the bucket. Not really for us, and not so much for them. Clasps of deserted urban communities are shown, including a window of a loft with Josh glancing through it.